Shalom Aleichem. I'm willing to read to you a short part and to try to translate as much as I'm able to the wonderful text of the Ramchal, Rabbi Moshe Chaim Lutzato, um, from the book Ma'amar HaGeula, a speech on the Geula, essay on Geula, redemption. Very deep um, into Kabbalah a book, very out of the box, very huge and, and wonderful book. And I would just, um, I wanted to read this, but now I found that. So I have uh, like few things that I, uh, I'll be very happy to share with you. So I'll start with the second one that I saw that is um, earlier in the text. So he's explaining a great secret about the souls um, that are stuck in complete darkness before time of redemption and few of them are totally emptied and drained from ancient days miyamim kadmoniot from ancient days means that for few lifetimes those huge righteous uh, gigantic souls they are um, in certain captivity they are under the control of the evil inclination and they are in the on the peak of those mountains the mountains represents a place that is unreachable and they are stuck over there on the highest mountains and they are huge souls and they are kept over there could not leave that place until today because of the huge power of impurity that is overpowering against them not to let them out and they, in the future, to come out before the time of redemption. And how will they come out if they were not able to come out until today? Just that with the huge light that is increasing on a daily basis, in the time of, the, of salvation, they will be, like, their vessels will be filled and they will be able to go out because then the righteous men will jump up on those mountains and all the hills that over there those soul are trapped and when he will get there so there is a righteous man that is jumping up on the mountains he is like jumping and crossing and seeing and taking care of the souls and watering them and revealing the light of Hashem on them and those are souls that are suffering for generations for many many generations they are suffering and when he reached that place, he will spread his light over there and those souls will take huge, tremendous power from him. And in that power, they will leave their prison. But the righteous men will not stand on those mountains for a long time because before the evil incarnation and the husks will feel his presence, he needs already to be gone. So he's skipping on the mountains, skip, jumping on the hills, and just pouring light on those souls, on those ancient thirsty souls. And you should know that most of those gigantic souls are the souls of the generation of Mashiach. And you should know that the generation is being called by the name of the souls. Means that the generation of Mashiach will be full of neshamot that are in kind of prison, in kind of exile for generations, for many, many years, for many, many, like thousands of years. And they could not go out until now, until that time. So many times students of mine asked me, can you tell me um, what who was I in different lifetime? What was I doing in my like different lifetime? And I said, in every generation, in every lifetime that you come again to life, so you have things that you need to correct. And those are the things that you were not able to correct in your earlier lifetimes. So all the things that you're struggling with, those are hints to the direction that you need to fix. So if you see that you are so angry and upset and explosive and you can like almost kill someone in the, in, in the fight and in the arguments, so you can tell about yourself that probably 
or maybe you killed someone in a different lifetime or that you were involved in some very violent um, situation and now you need to correct it, you need to fix it so you have that rage, you have that anger but you need to learn how to control it, how to hold your ho horses so those souls that are I think like us that are carrying within themselves huge tension of thousands of, of years, of many generations that we were so drained and kept out of the camp and so divided and isolated and so broken, like he's saying, that they are generations that are drained and, and abused f from ancient days, from earliest days of them all. They are coming with such cargo with so much pressure with so much um, tension that they like they feel like they're about to explode and those souls suddenly receives a huge amount of light that helps them out and suddenly they become converts and they become bale tshuva and they want Hashem and they see Hashem and they feel Hashem and they love the Torah but they're very physical they're very like trapped in physicality in their earthen ways in, in, in their slangs, with their culture that is very secular, with their violent um, manners. They're very far from, from the culture of righteous and pure. So they're facing a huge struggle, but definitely, definitely, definitely meant for greatness. And when those souls will come out, many other great souls will come out with them from that time and on. In their time, everyone in the right time for it to be corrected and the world to shine with their great um, powerful light. So that's one section. And the second one, that that's the main one that I wanted to say, is that... Where am I? Okay, so this is something about the Mashiach, very nice text that um, Hashem is explaining um, to us through this righteous man, the Ramchal, Rabbi Moshe Chaim Lutzato, that the verse is saying, um, Who is that that is coming from the land of Edom, from a foreign land, from the land of, of, of the nations? And those words that I will tell you are very short, um, but I will try to explain as much as I can. When the king will reveal himself to his Shekhinah, the Shekhinah is the, the feminine entity of, of Hashem, means that it's the um, gathering of the general of all souls together. All the souls of Israel and all the good souls of the world together as one, they are the Shekhinah Kedoshah. So when Hashem will show Himself to the Shekhinah, to all the people that will have the marriage to be redeemed, then the holy chariot of Hashem will be seen to in front of all the people of Israel and all the people from all nations that will have the marriage to be redeemed with them. As like that it was seen in front of the eyes of all the people of Israel on Mount Sinai in the first redemption. And it is also... Explained in the verse, Vamar Bayomahu, in that day Hashem said, Vamar Bayomahu, Hine Elohenu Zekivinu Love Yoshienu. Here is Hashem that we were waiting for, that we were hoping for. And from that day and on, the people of Israel will go out of their exile, and the Mashiach is walking in front of them. And the king and the kingship to their heads means as a crown, that that is the way that it was said that their king is passing in front of them, the king is the Mashiach, and God, the creator, the maker of the world, is in front of them, leading everyone, including the Mashiach. And that's how they will all walk, we will all walk, in one company, in one group, until they will come to the holy promised land and to the city of Jerusalem, Jerusalem, that he chose it. And over there the Shekhinah and the king with it will set his place in the eternal house, in the, in the eternal place for, for him um, forever. And that is the promised rest 
that will be found for everyone and the inherit for, of goodness that will never st stop anymore. And when the king and the kingship will stand up while they're passing in front of their children, who will be the one to dare standing in front of them? Just all the ministers, all the wealthy, all the, the foreign ones, all the idols wor worshippers will break and will be ashamed. They will gone and they will disappear from shame. And the people of Israel and the souls who follow them will make wonders. And all the suffering of the people of the world will disappear and they will never be mentioned anymore. And all the spoils and twisted things that took place in the time of exile will be corrected. And the people will be rewarded twice as much of what they lost. And because those, um, the pain and sorrow of, 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 of the exile was so horrible and painful, therefore twice as much in goodness for that will be a great salvation that cannot be discussed and talked. And therefore on the redemption it's written that Hashem will save us in four different ways. Vehotseti and I took you out. Vehitsalti and I saved you. Vegaalti and I redeemed you. Velakachti and I gathered you. I took you in. And those are the four corrections that are mentioned that will be seen to our eyes and to the eyes of all the wonderful souls that are uniting themselves with great love and passion, serving the Creator with a happy heart, with pure intention and amazing, amazing honesty within. May Hashem allow us all to gather our hands and to become one, to be happy and to succeed in our path. Amen. RDMC with the Muna project, all the nations with me. Close your eyes, just breathe, see the truth. Don't chase the fake world, don't buy the fake news. Be yourself, your own true self. Don't let no one take our natural wealth. See the good, no fear, no despair. Cherish who that you are and share. Source of power from an endless spring. Life is full of courage. In yourself, you they can kick you down to the ground Hold yourself up till you are put up your crown King of the creator, holy soul inside Focus on the spiritual and you shall